Howdy, 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 my beautiful Cancer. How are you doing, darling? My name is Simply Valka, and today, darling, we're going to get into your weekly tarot reading, Cancer, for June 2022. So if you enjoy this tarot reading here today, Cancer, be sure to check out your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign, Cancer, to get the full spectrum of what's going down in your life in specific. All right, darling? As well, darling, if you enjoy this tarot reading, let me know in the comments below how this tarot reading resonates with you. Give this video a like and subscribe. It's completely for free. And if you don't are not part of this family yet, darling, why not? You're already here, honey. All right? So let's just get right into this weekly tarot reading for you cancer all right my rising is in cancer so i always like to see what's going on with my cancer's energy here because i feel like i resonate with it as well so what's going on with y'all cancer what's the tea what's good what's popping i feel like it's been a hot biscuit since we've connected oh okay so you guys have the six as well as the ace of pentacles coming in here as well as the two of cups all right so there's a couple of different narratives here i'm going to cover love and then going into more general career oriented because i know not everyone's into love here but uh definitely love in terms of romance or even platonic friendships coming in here cancer be anticipating someone approaching you all right be anticipating someone approaching you this is a very nice healthy connection that i see going to be happening here it's almost this sense of where it's like someone's going to be coming in a little bit more bashful towards you cancer and be like oh hey cancer like how are you doing like you know i'd like to get to know you a little bit more all right that's how i feel like the energy is going to be here all right and i feel like on surface level you're gonna see this energy and be like well i don't know how like you're it's like you're gonna you're looking at this and be like i don't know how we're a match i don't know how we're gonna really vibe or click together because i feel like on surface level you see it and you're just like mm, i don't know if we you know we're gonna be good friends i don't know if we you know you're the right match for me or whatever all right give this energy a chance all right give this energy a chance all right because it's, it's gonna be really like it's one of those things where cancer where it's just like as like a random analogy where it's just like you see this person you start talking to this person and you get to know them you end up dating them all right and then after you start dating them for a while then you find out that they are actually like a prince or like a millionaire or something like that right but initially you just thought they were just like a barista something in that manner all right now delving into career and what have you here uh cancer you i feel like you guys are going to be getting the opportunity to uh partner up with somebody i feel like you're going to be receiving some type of offer to work for a company or for a job here that's really prosperous for you here it's like the effort that you put in right now you know let's just say that you're working at a job that's like minimum wage all right you're working this job that's minimum wage you go, be anticipating here cancer someone approaching you with the opportunity of um doing something new that pays out so much more for you cancer all right y'all are going to be receiving the opportunity to work together with new energy here i really like this a lot for you here cancer all right so whatever the case is cancer i feel like you want to, the way to bring this energy closer to you faster is to uh, make yourself more available coming in here you even have in the back of the deck the full energy here so it's very like regardless of whatever the narrative this is here cancer this is life-changing whatever way like you're starting a new chapter in your life entirely right you go from working that minimum job uh, minimum wage job as that barista and then now you start i mean doing something else entirely that's like 20 times the pay you know a lot your imagination go wild right you start connecting with this energy here with this new friendship this new relationship here and you're just like mm, okay feeling it out right and then later on you find out like how they end up being like a millionaire prince or just like like you are very much so caught off guard by the value the unexpected value this energy is but initially you're looking at it kind of side-eyed and you're just like girl like what you want with this like why like why are you talking to me why are you entertaining this like initially you're not going to see the value in it that's what i can tell you first and foremost initially you're not going to see the value in it so uh, let's continue on with your reading here uh cancer might be an aquarius because aquarius was just sitting in my mind right beforehand or someone that has strong aquarius in their chart and i say that darling and then we get to this aquarius card here all right so um either they are an aquarius have aquarius in their chart or you they exude that aquarian energy all right where it's just like very mystical very or what have you know so girl that's very undeniable the fact that we got that <laughs> aquarian card just dropping out like that following it up afterwards you have the ten of swords as well as the knight of cups coming in here as well so definitely this reads off as someone approaching you here all right with that star energy aquarius as well this is definitely part someone part of your soul family they're going to feel very nostalgic to you all right you're going to even without me having to have said it beforehand uh, 
cancer you might have seen this energy and you're just like you know what let me just enter like you normally want to do entertain something like this but you start but your interest is peaked all right i feel like you're going to already internally have these type of feelings being like, there's something more to this and you want to explore this right and it's not something that you normally would do all right and so really really powerful the star energy wish fulfillment someone offering an uh, opportunity to you whether that's love and emotion or job opportunity and the ten of swords it's like through them approaching you here aquarius now i'm calling you aquarius uh through them approaching you here cancer like it's it's finally putting this period of struggle to an end here it's like you you've been uh fighting the storm riding out this storm here for a while now cancer and it's like through this new energy coming in here it's again like this sense of very much so life-changing for you where it's just like beforehand you were just in a lot of struggle and before what have you it's like they pull you out of that dark heavy place all right this new energy pulls you out of a dark heavy place here and you just is really beautiful really really beautiful and the knight of cups being this i know y'all can't see the cards but it's just you're just gonna take my word for it darling but the knight of cups is the center of y'all spread here so it's truly like revolving around receiving some type of life-changing opportunity um from somebody all right and let's continue on here uh cancer <clears throat> Let's see here, darling. Mm -mm. All right, Cancer. So we have here the Ten of Cups, King of Swords coming in, as well as this Moon energy. So you don't know this energy. All right. Right now, you don't know this energy whatsoever here. I feel like your paths haven't crossed with them. But the Ten of Cups uh, coming in here, I mean, this is powerful. All right. The Ten of Cups, this is complete fulfillment. This is like, again, bringing forth someone in your life not either someone or an opportunity in your life that's going to be with you for the rest of your time all right this is like you know the ten of cups when you think about it it's like that family energy it's that like you are wanting for nothing you're wanting for nothing here and this king of swords coming in here swords is air energy all right and aquarius is air energy just as like a side note coming in here and then with this moon energy it's just like <sighs> Uh, very much so it's like spirit all along here cancer knew that like they knew all along that your path was going to at some point in time cross with this person here it's like you were destined to meet this person at some point in your life here this is not going to be by sheer chance this is literally like what spirit's been planning all along for your for you here all right i say this without a doubt now here cancer that is just like this is like a new energy a new partnership a new like it's just whatever this new energy is this is destined for you this uh, job opportunity this person like whatever whatever it is in your relevant in your life at this current point in time here um again i want to call you aquarius cancer um whatever it is part of your life right now this is like major this is like meant for you all right you already you probably have been told in the past where it's just like someone either like tapped into your akashic records maybe it was you cancer like there's just something that you always knew that your life was destined to be whether it's like being married to whatever or whether it's like working some type of career or job like you knew for the entire like for a long time now that this is something that was destined for you is what i feel all right cancer <laughs> So now let's start expounding on this a little bit more. You have the lover's card I'll show you in a moment. The lover's card coming in here, seven of pentacles stepping forward, as well as the king of wands coming in here. So what I want to be saying to you here, Cancer, is like, again, like... I feel like the biggest mistake that you could be having is not be having an open mind, Cancer. Because I do see some of you guys were being a little bit resistant where you're just like, mm, this new energy starts coming in and you're just like, mm, I just do not have the time or the energy to invest into these types of projects to even feel anything out. All right. That's the biggest mistake that you could be having at this time, Cancer. You want to like out of any time of ever, you want to keep a completely open mind and feel as many things out as possible. The very, because it's like the the very thing that you say that you don't have time for is a thing that if you gave time to it, it would give you so much more time in your life because you would no longer have to manage all these other things. All right. Because that's the thing for you guys here, Cancer. You may be hesitant towards taking on new energy, taking on new responsibilities in your life because it's just like you have a lot going on. That's what I keep on hearing for you guys, Cancer. You have a lot going on and it's just like just, you don't want to put anything more on your plate. But I promise you, this is like during this month of June, this is the time to really like 
out of any time really cancer this is the time to really push yourself even if you're going through some mental issues or what have you you know like this is the time out of any time like where you just go 120%, all right? And I'm not trying to be dismissive of your struggles or your pains or what it is that you're going through, darling, but like truly cancer, like you will be thanking me later down the road that you pushed yourself this month, all right? You will be thanking me down the road and I promise you, all right? And so just because you have a lot on your shoulders here, like later on down the road, you will be so glad that you did because it was the proper investment for you by you taking a chance on this now the things that you're so stressed about and trying to manage right now are going to be so irrelevant for you in the future because it's all taken care of because you gave something the time of day that you normally wouldn't all right cancer so let's get into your oracle cards for this week here you have the waxing crescent moon have faith in your dreams darling this is the epitome cancer of um being being open-minded and giving something a chance here i feel like for many of you guys cancer you're sitting here listening to this message here um and you're just like velka like i don't know if this is possible for me like and i acknowledge like outside of me giving this tarot reading uh cancer i acknowledge like how fluffy or just like uh promising like a fairy tale or something like that cancer like i acknowledge it trust and believe but truly 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 cancer by you giving this energy you will just not regret this at all i really feel passionate about that you have the mountain goat coming in here as well there's something out of balance in your life so do whatever you need to do to correct it here and for some of you guys here cancer you might be saying just like yeah Valka, i just don't have the spoons i don't have the energy to do it well do you have this how long have you had that to-do list of things that you've been needing to manage but you've haven't done it all right now i'm gonna be clocking you guys how long have you had those clothes on your bed that haven't been folded in so long you're so stressed about having all these things that you need to manage and get done I mean, how much, you know, and uh, this is not excusing it any, but it's just like, well, you know, you have this giant to-do list, you know, have you actively gone after that to-do list so you can make time for other things, all right? I'm just saying, Cancer, I'm just saying, honey, all right? So some of y'all just need to have that reminder, darling. But um, Cancer, that's the weekly tarot reading that I have for you, darling, for June. Hopefully you found some tarot cards that did resonate with you, Cancer. If you did, let me know in the comments below, Cancer. Be sure to give this video a like and subscribe. And remember, Cancer, if you want to book a private reading with me, be sure to check out my website, Simply Velka dot com cancer um it's linked down below next to my social medias tiktok and instagram cancer simply velka same as here darling all right but until next time cancer hopefully i can see you sometime in the near future darling until next time though i love you so much bye